Welcome to the Wangzilla channel. My name is Will, and I am doing another video on my NV3500. The Beast is a 2019 model, and uh, earlier I did an LED headlight upgrade, which I am extremely happy with, so I figured I'd go ahead and wrap up the front end and do an LED fog light upgrade. On Amazon, I picked this up and it says it's not compatible, but it is an H11 bulb, which is uh, what the manual calls for. It looks appropriate, but I won't know until I actually get underneath the car, pull the fog light out, and then uh, compare it with this. I picked up an Ox it, Oxito LED bulb. Um, I mean, it looks super fancy, so hopefully it's functional. And as you can see here, pretty much you get the two bulbs and a little instruction manual. Um, nothing crazy and you see they got these nice little heating uh, dissipation fins on here and a angled LED on the tip of like a spear point so hopefully these uh, these actually plug in and fit that might be my issue might not have clearance but let me go ahead and uh, head over to the van here and as you can see here, here are the fog lights. Typical halogen bulbs. It is daylight out now. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car up and uh, just see how they look in the daylight. I'll actually uh, splice in a video of the fog lights uh, from last night and see what they look like at dark. And then I'll get these installed if they fit. And then uh, tonight I will uh, do a final video and show how they look at dark. I did get the 3K. Uh, which is the amber yellow bulb color which is perfect for fog because the yellow will actually cut through the fog light whereas if you've got uh, some super white or something like that it'll actually deflect back into your eyes and be pretty much useless in the fog so that's why i went with the uh, amber 3k color and the trick with this is you pretty much have to, have to go underneath the bumper and then you'll be able to reach around unplug the fog light it turns to unlock pull it out We'll take a look at it and compare it with the uh, LED bulbs. So I'm going to go ahead and get the car started up first real quick. Take a look at the fog lights, how the light look. Here are the uh, fog lights lit up, of course, at daytime. You can see, I mean, not super bright by any means. Have the uh, typical halogen dull yellowish color. Uh, not actually truly yellow. It's more just a dull white uh, warm white or something like that kind of like a antique room lantern so they really doesn't really push very far and really don't help much in fog or really anything they're almost pointless uh, with this kind of illumination i'm gonna go ahead and get this ball pulled out and we'll take a look at it and you can see the back of the uh, fog light housing right here kind of behind that wire not super accessible, especially for how big of a car it is, but I'm gonna have to kind of snake my hand up through here and pull that plug off. And then I'm going to twist. It's a twist to unlock, twist to lock bulb. I'm gonna pull the bulb out and then we're gonna take a look at it. I'm going to have to set the camera down and then we'll jump back when I have the bulb out just so I can use both my hands and kind of squeeze in here without losing any fingers. OEM bulb and housing on the right here, and then the new LED one on the left. If you look at it, they appear to, you know, it's got the three prong, three locking prongs, so it should snap in. And the trick with these are when you go to unplug this, uh, the, the wiring harness from this, you actually have to pull the tab upward, don't push it in. Pull it upward, it'll come unclips from this little nub here, and then you could pull the bulb right out. Not too difficult. I had plenty of room once I put the camera down, and uh, yeah, everything came out pretty simple. Make sure your connectors aren't corroded or anything like that on the harness, and if you want, you can clean, do some electrical cleaner on there or a little bit of a... Uh... You see here, I have the uh, bulb in place, and the trick is you want the connector, at least on, uh, I'm over here on the passenger side, it's going to be off to the side here a little bit you're going to slot it in just a little bit and then you lock it by uh, turning it clockwise and then the connector should be facing downward and then you should be able to get the actual um, harness lined up and it should snap right into place 
we'll go ahead and get the car started back up and we'll look at the fog light and then see if we can do comparison. Of course, it'll be a daylight comparison between the halogen on the driver's side and the uh, new LED on the passenger side. Not a nighttime comparison because uh, I'll have both of these installed before night, but at least give you a general idea of the color difference and uh, brightness difference. Here is the quick daytime uh, comparison. LED here on the passenger side, halogen on the right side, and you can definitely tell the 3K uh, LED, much more amber, golden colored, should be much better uh, dispersing through any kind of fog and should still get letting you see the road. Halogen is that kind of off-white, um, just, you know, I don't know what color that is, 4500K or something like that. Just doesn't really work that well in the uh, fog and it doesn't look that great. You can see, I mean, it definitely puts out some light. It'll be interesting to see how nice it looks uh, when I actually show it uh, tonight. But uh, another thing is, of course, with any kind of lighting, you want to make sure your lenses are relatively clean. You don't want a bunch of debris on there that'll cut down your light output significantly. And also, a thing to note, since it is an LED, I don't feel any kind of heat radiating from this bulb versus over here, I can definitely feel heat, you know, all the way out, half foot out from the, the ball. So that should give it a little bit more longevity. And of course, some people put heads or something like that in small enclosures like this and end up melting the lens. LED should not cause any kind of fire hazard or um, melting of your lens because it is a cooler uh, light source. I'm gonna go ahead and get the driver's side one swapped out. It only takes about a minute or two at the most to replace these and then here we have the passenger or the sorry the driver's side fog light bulb in place and do note the alignment of the LED plate in there it is a vertical alignment with the LEDs on the left and right that's the same thing with the headlight up here where well that's about as vertical as I could get it uh, based on the locking mechanism, but that's real important with these. It seems like it cannot be horizontal. The light doesn't disperse, right? Probably doesn't really matter with the fog light, but it does make a huge difference with the headlight. So if you do LEDs and follow my headlight video, that is very important. Otherwise you will lose your brights and your light dispersion won't be quite as good. So I'll go ahead and get this started up. We'll take a look how they both look together and then we'll come back uh, this evening and then see how the fog lights look uh, tied together and how good the light output is. Definitely should be an improvement, especially in any kind of misty or rain or fog type settings because that 3000 um, color light is just significantly better than super whites, which seems like a lot of people go with, which actually are worse, or just the off white that the OEM comes with. There we have it. Both the driver and passenger side fog lights have been installed. As you can see, uh, it's much brighter and definitely much more yellow amber, which is optimal for uh, those bad weather conditions, mist, uh, rain, fog, and whatnot. And also they burn much cooler, should be less of an overall power draw and uh, much less uh, heat. So it should, they should last, being LEDs, significantly longer than halogens. No. Longevity will be tested, and we'll see how long they do last. But overall, look great. I'm going to come back here this evening, and we'll take a look at how bright these are at night. Go. Nighttime, finally. And I can see the fog lights. They turned out uh, pretty good, and they definitely cast quite well, as you can see here. The yellow tint here. I mean, you can see it all the way up on the bottom of the garage door. All that is lit up. The halogens, I mean, they would get a few feet in front of the car, and that was it. So, huge improvement. Definitely should be awesome in the rain, fog, or any kind of funky weather. And uh, they look nice and bright and sharp. So, happy with the setup. And hopefully they last, that's the big question, and don't burn out or have issues or electrical problems. But I feel pretty confident that these will work out long term.
wanted to do a quick comparison, um, kind of a follow-up to my previous video on the LED headlight bulb uh, swap. And I did go back after finding the manual and rotating the bulbs as it indicated more of a vertical with LEDs on the uh, sides instead of the LEDs on the top and bottom. And it significantly improved the light output. I mean, the light output was already great, but the pattern wasn't super clean. And by rotating it as the manual indicates, uh, as you can see, pattern is very smooth, no real, no blotches, which it didn't really have before, but it definitely cleaned it up. And the big change is the brights actually are bright. Before, they didn't really change what you saw. They looked almost the same as low beams. Now, high beams actually do have uh, additional reach and actually function like high beams. So I wanted to add that to this video and just kind of show the difference, kind of as a follow-up. That will wrap it up for the LED fog light install. Once again, these were the 3K Amber. They have the white ones, which I would not recommend for fog lights because they just don't do an effective job at actually acting as a fog light. Now, if you weren't planning on using fog lights other than just for show, then you can go with whatever color combination you like. But I went with uh, functionality and looks. And uh, yeah, so that will wrap it up. Feel free to check out my other videos, especially my other um, Nissan NV3500 uh, LED front end transformation videos, which includes the headlights, as you can see here, as well as a daytime running light slash blinker light. So those videos have been linked and uh, let me know what you think. I have a lot more planned for the uh, Beast Zilla, as well as my ZL1, my uh, Exploder, my wife's EcoBoost Mustang, and eventually, the 84 El Camino SS. For now, I'll wrap it up. Have a great day. Peace.